everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have the new rainbow high cheer violet to review with you guys so let's get started and get a good look at the box first so this box is just a simple rectangular shape but it does have that same amazing um, holographic detail as you can see in the Sun it really shines and then here has her name at the top and then at the bottom it shows all the girls you can get in the line and it goes all the way around and then of course we have the rainbow hide logo and it says cheer and then her box is purple because this is violet and then on the back we have a picture of all the girls on the football field cheering for the team and then a description not much description really but it's super cute and what I really like about the background of the box the doll came in it is actually a football field if you look close so that is the box so now on to the doll so these dolls do stand on their own the cheer line the dolls can actually stand on their own which I love so here's Violet getting really good good look, good look at her Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why my tongue was all tied. I do not have Violet from the uh, first wave because I did not like her. So I ended up getting this Violet because I could see her as a cheerleader and a preppy type of girl. So that's why I liked her. And her makeup was really pretty. So out of all the Violets they had, they had six Violets at the store to choose from. They were all messed up. Like I said in my last review, uh, they were messed up. This Violet did have the best face with um, this line here. The rest of the lines were super dark, coming off the lip. It was just really bad. And then, of course, we had the problem with the eyelashes. Again, smeared. So, yeah, this was the best one. So, anyway, other than that... Let's get started on her face. So she has these pink lips, which are a matte color. And if you look close, they, she actually has some lines in her lips to make it look like she has actual um, lips, like how we have these little tiny lines there. That's super cute. Violet has blue eyes with a dark blue undertone. And she has this little tiny star in the middle. Super cute. I kind of wish they gave her violet eyes to match her violet look, but that's okay. Um, I guess they just went with blue for some reason. So now she has this black eyeliner that makes a cat eye. And her eyeshadow also does a cat, um, cat eye, which is really cute. And it's sparkly purple with some pink. And then I love how it's a two-tone. So it has right here in the middle, it's like this white nude color. And then it has the purple around the eye itself. So it gives it more of a shape. And then underneath the eyelashes on the bottom, um, we have the glitter that goes all the way around. And mine does have a little bit of pest... Uh, paint mess up here. You can see it's missing some glitter compared to this side. And of course you can see it kind of is smeared there too. So like I said, you really have to watch that when you pick them out in the store. And she does have this, um, her eye, her, um, eyebrows are kind of a purple but they're like a lilac almost with the white there and the, for the actual pieces of hair there. And then on her cheeks, we have the R and the H. And of course, just like the last doll, it is actually glittery, as you can see, and three-dimensional when you touch it. Super cute. And let me see about her ears. The last doll actually had some paint in the ears to give it some definition. It does not look like she has that at all, which is a shame, but that's okay. Now onto her head, we have this purple satin bow. 
I love that they gave them real fabric bows. Yes, MGA, we love, love, love that detail. And look, she has these cute little stud rhinestones on there. Oh, super cute. So we have the purple with its dark purple. And then underneath is a white satin. And then her little barrette says, cheer. And then, of course, she has this high pony right here. And it reminds me of Jojo Siwa, which I think is why I kind of like her a lot, too. Was because it kind of looks like Jojo with the bow and the hair. And then her hair is this violet color with different shades of purple and violet. So we have, like, the lighter purple, the white, and then, like, this dark purple. Kind of reminds me of Twilight Sparkle from, um, from, oh, goodness, I couldn't think. My Little Pony. And then we have her jersey number, which is 34. And on mine, I did not notice this in the store, but it looks like the the thread is coming out of mine right here at the bottom. So a little disappointing. I'm going to have to try to fix that if I can. But I love this jersey style t-shirt. And it is just a t-shirt, but it is like a belly shirt. And then, of course, we have her skirt, which I'm not really a fan of. I like it, but I don't like these bows. I mean, this is so unrealistic. You would not have these bows right here on a cheerleading skirt. And it doesn't even look like a cheerleading skirt to me. Unlike the other girls, they, their skirts were more cheerleading. But I think she's the cheer captain, so I think she can, like, get away with... Um, doing her own thing and I love this detail here if you go under the skirt she actually has these little panty like things so that if you know when she's doing her cheer she goes up oh, you won't see anything so I love that and then of course we have rainbow on there and then her jacket is this see-through mesh material you can see it's like this see-through and it's like mesh and then it has this graphic here that says sparkle sparkle on both sides and her nails are painted white super cute and then her shoes which I still don't understand why they have to give them heels for cheerleading nobody's gonna wear heels while they're cheering okay but that's okay. I understand kind of why they did it. Because they wanted to make it fashionable. She's a fashion doll. So she's got to have heels. But yeah. Her heels are really cool. I like the heels. They got the laces. Purple laces. And then they are this glittery um, metallic-y kind of color here. In the white. And then she's got these black uh, studs. Not studs. But uh, black leather laces going around with the studs and then of course you got the purple and then on the bottom we just have white no tread on the bottom surprisingly but we do have white and then of course the black heel itself and then the pom-poms which are really really nice I love the pom-poms they're a really nice touch I love how they're actually made of that pom-pom material and I lost the other one. Here's the other one. It's purple and white tinsel. And I do love that they actually gave them handles so they can hold on to the pom-pom instead of using a um, elastic because those corrode over time, which is super annoying. Now, onto her articulation. Just like the original Rainbow High, the head can go from side to side. The shoulder can go out and in, up and down. And then at the wrist, we have the up and down motion. And it's at a 360, so it can go all directions. And then, of course, at the elbow, we have that movement. This doll is actually not stiff, surprisingly. Unlike the other Rainbow Highs I've had, they always are stiff. Like, her arms just move so smoothly. I love that. Look how cute she is. Oh, I love her. I'm so glad I have a willow, finally. 
Oh, not Willow. Violet. Sorry, I don't want to call her Willow. Oh, and I forgot to um, mention she does have a hood. But it can't go over the head. But it's still cute. So that is super cute. I love her. So let's see. Let's see if I can get her to stand again. Oh, 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 nope, nope. <laughs> can't she was standing on her own I you saw she was it just takes some there we go yay there she is so cute I love it and the cheer line the dolls do not have glittery faces which I kind of wish they did I love the glittery faces but the mat looks nice too with the makeup just makes it pop so I'm super happy about that so I'm so glad to have her in my collection yay keep up the good work MGA we are loving it you are slaying it as they say and of course they do have this ribbon detail that is supposed to be like the um where you can like adjust the hoodie itself which is nice I love that super cute and it matches the bows on her skirt oh I don't think I mentioned the socks the socks are fabric we love that we love fabric all kinds of fabric yes and the sock is like all weird and pushed down for some reason but yeah so there's my review on the new cheer violet willow and um if you're new here please feel free to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up if you like videos like these. And comments are appreciated. Feel free to comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.